Hey, what are we doing here? We need to get searching for the capital city grimoire pronto. My Ordens, you haven't figured out the clue yet? I got it a while ago. What clue? Come on, we don't have time for this. Grimoire is waiting for us. The land of graven images. Think about it. What's another word for graven images? It has to be here. Sorry though, Mibbity. I know this must be kind of tough for you. No, it's okay. The clue really works on multiple levels anyway. Oh, graven images, as in idols. I see. Did you seriously just figure that out? You shut up. Quit your bickering. Cannon has to be in here somewhere. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? You like this? Three foes, is it? Let's show them some hospitality. No you like this? Time to take a look at the ground. Rest in peace. Let us guide the pool to hell. It's an enemy. Only two enemies? This should be a quick and easy game. Hyperonic promenade! Your first form is superb, Master Asasi. Hot! Nicely done. Uh -huh. It's an enemy! Hot. There are two foes, but we have the element of surprise I'll on our side. Blow you away! Hot! Hot! You like jump! Yeah. Yeah. That's a that was a performance, Master you have Mission accomplished. It's an enemy. Please exercise caution. Not so fast. There are two foes, but we have the element of surprise Come on us. Hut, 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 not so fast. Yeah. Hut, we move. Like this. By Master Asahi. Yeah. Yeah. Hut, yeah. Hut, let's end this. An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? It's an enemy. Please exercise caution. Shall we proceed through the door? I will. Hmm? An enemy draws near. Command. Three adversaries. <laughs> no warning. No problem. Our enemies are like this. I feel there may be a treasure chest nearby. Shall we handle this encounter? Hot! Two adversaries. A master and servant, Come perhaps? Come and get me! You like hot? You like the job? You like this? Ah! Not to be rude! Like performance, yeah. master and yeah. servant. Yeah. 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 skill? Shall 
we proceed through? Hot. As your guide, I'll... It's a customer. Please do ensure you're all presentable. It's a customer. Please do ensure you're all presentable. This shop seems to sell all kinds of odds and ends. Shall we take a look? Deep as it goes, and I haven't seen anything terribly out of the ordinary, by delusion standards. Damn cannons know where to be found. Was this not the right place? I tried to tell you we should have been searching for Grimoire, but no, you just wouldn't listen. Hold up. Tachibana, check it out. There's another letter. Oh, and it's pink. Who decided delusions were a bad thing? The airplane was born of delusion, made by men who wanted to soar through the skies like birds. Others dreamed of speaking with friends across the world. From that delusion, the telephone was born. Behind every turning point in history, you'll find a delusion at work. See if you can find one of your own. A delusion beyond your wildest dreams. Try asking for one of your own. A delusion beyond your wildest dreams. My heart longs for my master's and mistress's returns. Delusion contractor canon. History and delusions, huh? Could it be that the message was meant just for us? Is he trying to tell us something? This stupid prank of his is getting pretty intricate. Yeah, but what's his end goal here? <laughs> I had that figured out ages ago. Really? Tell me. The key is in the phrase, my heart longs for my master's and mistress's return. He's hiding out in the maid delusion. Well, yeah. I, I thought so too. Do try to catch up. We've all figured that out. What? You did? Hey! Wait for me! You'll need my help figuring out the next clue, I swear! Into the delusionscape, then? Please be certain you're well prepared. Yoshino's chatting with over there. I'm terribly sorry. I'm delighted by your offer, but I'm afraid I must decline. I've resolved to dedicate my services exclusively to my mistress, you see. You mean, you're a real housemaid? Oh, I, I had no idea. I'm very sorry to have bothered you. Do feel free to come back anytime, though, should you ever change your mind. Yoshino, was that a scout for a maid cafe? Oh. You overheard? Yeah, that sounded like a pretty well-practiced refusal, too. Do you get accosted like that a lot? I suppose I do. Particularly by maid cafes, for rather obvious reasons. Wait, you mean you get headhunted for other jobs, too? Quite a few. It was an art studio a few days ago, 
And before that, one eager recruiter felt I'd make a great explorer. Seriously? What do you do on a daily basis that has all these people scouting you? I merely attend to the mistress's needs, along with any housework that needs to be done. So, why are recruiters approaching you about things not related to maid work? Oh my, you are a curious one. Perhaps you might like to accompany me for a while and see for yourself? Hmm, you know what? Let's do it. A day in the life of a real deal maid sounds like a pretty fascinating time to me. As you wish. Currently, I am headed to Animart on Main Street to purchase a manga at the mistress's behest. Come! Let's upgrade our PPs. It may help us in battle. A clothing store in Akihabara? That's rare! We've arrived. The manga the young miss wishes to read should be in stock within. Now, that couldn't possibly be Yoshino Sayonji standing right there, could it? Oh, it's been quite some time, hasn't it? You know, I was just thinking about you. Been trying to track down the elusive Miss Sayonji here for quite some time. You know this guy, Yoshino? I do indeed. This gentleman is the president of Jimbocho Publishing. President? Have you given any consideration to the matter of employment with my company, Miss Sayonji? We'd love to have you. I'm afraid that, as before, I must decline your kindly offer. I hoped you might have reconsidered. Perhaps you'd give me a few moments to sell you on why Jim Pub is right for you? Again, I must refuse. The tales I've crafted are merely trifles for the enjoyment of my mistress. Nothing more. I understand. I suppose it was always going to be a hard sell, wasn't it? At the very least, though, I hope you'll accept this gift for your consideration. The latest issue of our monthly rag. Oh! This is the manga the young miss sent me to procure! I will gladly accept this on her behalf. You have my gratitude. Splendid. I'll be off then. Ta! How the heck do you know somebody like that, Yoshino? When the mistress was but a girl, I would often create my own picture books to read to her. On occasion, she would drop one on the ground without my notice, and that man would invariably be the one to find it. I see, so that got you noticed, but I mean, he really seems to think they're worthy of publication. Oh my, no. They're silly stories accompanied by amateurish art. I am but a simple maid in the end. Putting that aside, our next errand is to pick up what's needed for the evening meal. Come to the supermarket at UBX! It's a collectible shop. Perhaps we can buy some trading cards here. Oh, my star fruit and garnish? If it isn't Yoshino Sayonji in the raw. Why, hello there. It's been a long time. Wait, don't I know this guy from TV? Holy crap, it's the freaking Sobagetti guy. Goro Mandinsky, right? He's like a famous master top chef. I've got just a little dash of something I'd like to ask you, Miss Sayonji, if you can spare the rosemary and thyme. And what might that be? I've been thinking of cooking up a fresh new restaurant. And of course, Lee Ground, I'd need a head chef for that. So what do you say, Miss Sayonji? Will you loan me the sugar and help me get this one off the cutting board? What? You're a master top chef now, too? I'm terribly sorry, but all of my cooking is solely for the sustenance of my mistress. As such, I'm afraid I must politely decline your offer. There must be a way! Whatever you're making now will be boiled peanuts! I'll dish out a salary ten times that portion! I am grateful for your generosity, but I'm afraid I simply cannot accept. Guess your mind's made it up then. But please, do accept these as an apology for my half-baked tenderizations. 
Oh my! Is it truly all right to have these? They're such high-end ingredients. Without question! If by your hand still, these ingredients are sure to satisfy even the most discerning palate. Now then, I must away! If ever you crave a taste of the art of restaurateurship, you're ever welcome with me. Everything we need for the evening meal all at once. Even the mistress can scarcely object to food made with these. So, uh, how do you know that guy? Oh, it was a few years back. The mistress and I attended a cooking class for parent and child. Only the ones, though. Mr. Mandinsky just happened to be the teacher of that class. We came to keep in somewhat regular contact, as he would often consult me for cooking advice. The Soba Getty guy consulted you? Oh, it isn't anything worth making a fuss about. I am but a simple maid in the end. Now, let us make our last stop. A military shop on the side streets called Soldier's Zone. Turns up at last. Has been a while, hasn't it? Uh-oh. Here we go again. We gonna be able to get you to come back somehow? Ain't no way we can manage on our own for much longer. I've already made my pledge. I won't be dirtying my hands with anything beyond the protection of the young miss. You seriously still over there? Join back up with the PMC. And you're sure to do bigger and better things than ever. Wait. PMC as in private military company? <laughs> there ain't a single day goes by that I don't think back on the legend of the Black Panther of the battlefield. Please, come back to us, Sionji. We need you bad. My answer is the same as before. I must refuse your offer. But... but... Are you questioning my judgment, maggot? Oh, them eyes are looking as crazy as they did back in the day. Oh, fine. Suppose I'll back off for today, but just you remember, your only true home is on the battlefield. Hang on to this uniform for the day comes you realize that. I just know I'll see you on the field again someday. Master Asahi, I believe the mistress will be most pleased with this military garb. What? Why would she be? What the hell are you hiding in your past, Yoshino? I suppose that would be enough to spark anyone's curiosity. See, before I took this job, I was... A mercenary? Like for realsies? A badass, take no prisoners mercenary? Oh my, it sounds so embarrassing. Please keep that between just the two of us. Don't even let the young miss know. But, but Keep it between us, please. Right, whatever you say. This shop sells PP parts. Shall we upgrade? A delusion scape. Shall we enter? It's a customer. Please do it. 
Four customers, no reservations. What kind of Cannon's a Kano show. But maybe he left us another letter. And there it is. And another of those creepy pink envelopes. Gotta give him points for consistency. What's it say this time? What exactly are delusions? Dreams? Hopes? Aspirations? Well-handled ones can be all of the above and more. Nightmares? Despair? Negations? They can be those, too, when handled poorly. Humans are creatures doomed to repeat their failings again and again, which is why I've been contracted to handle their delusions for them. To lead them into a land of delusion sweeter than any dream. And now, I shall wait in the corner of this town overflowing with delusion. Delusion contractor Ken. 
repeat our own failings. Okay, now I'm really stumped. What's his game here? There's no way of knowing yet. Well, he obviously means Akihabara when he says this town overflowing with delusion, right? I mean, where else could this town be? But I've got no idea what he means by Akiba's Corner. So, would this be the corner of Akiba? Hmm. Well, Cannon's not waiting here. What, is he so bored he needs to make us dance for him? Like I said, it's all just some bad-natured prank. What? Yay! It's Asahin and friends! Good evening. You two. You've got some nerve showing your identical faces around me. Or maybe you want to be torn limb from limb. Wait, wait, let's not do anything hasty here. These two destroyed my delusion. There's no fate for them but complete annihilation. Oh no, you mustn't. They're witnesses. Who cares? Their cheers will make this all the sweeter. Um, uh, I'm sorry for what happens, Kotomin. Me too. I, I beg your pardon? Destroying delusions is the freedom fighter's duty. We don't hate you or anything, Kotomin. In fact, we're actually glad we ran into you. W what? This is absurd. Now, now. This would be different if it were Boss and Mizuki, but I don't think these two are to blame. Probably. Mostly. I'm not going to ask you to forgive them. But maybe hold off on violence and threats thereof. Just for a bit. <laughs> Fine. For a bit. That's very nice of you, Ko. So, Bakari, Ali, either of you two seen Cannon around here anywhere? Or find a pink envelope on the ground in the general area? Oh man, you guys are stuck chasing down letters too? Same as us then. Does that mean you followed the clues here? Like we did? Sure does. Um... Here, we found this nearby. Another one, huh? Do you truly wish to meet me? You must, or else you wouldn't be standing where you are now. If you wish it, I could be right there, right in your corner of town. Just wish, in your heart of hearts, that we may meet in person someday. Delusion Contractor Cannon. The heck does that mean? Hmm. I don't know. But he's definitely not here now. I guess this is as far as his riddles are gonna take us. <gasps> pizza! Pizza? Yeah, pizza. It should be arriving any minute now. Which means we're going home. We're going home. Okay. Enjoy, I guess. Bye-bye, Ina Haina. Goodbye. <laughs> yes. Enjoy your accursed pizza. You won't be able to eat anything soon enough. Go. 
A day full of running around, and our pal Pinky continues to escape our grasp. So Sonata was right the whole time. Just a stupid prank. Even if it was, there are still a few things that don't quite add up. Like who in their right mind would orchestrate something this elaborate? And why would they do it? The hundred million yen questions. Exactly. If this was all a wild goose chase, what would the person who put it together have to gain from it? Is there any reason for anyone to pretend to be canon and lead us, and the freedom fighters, on this hunt? But if it's just a prank, does there even need to be a reason? Who knows, really? Well, you need to figure it out. Aren't you the leader? Oh, well, about that. What? You're not? You know, what's a leader anyway? It's just a title, and sort of complicated in our group, so... <laughs> oh, that reminds me. We need to go check in with Akemi and pick up Pinkoon. Sorry, folks, but it's getting kind of late. Let's say we call it a night and head back to Violet Eden. Let's upgrade our PPs. It may help us in battle. Confusion to sneak a hug like that isn't cool, Dingus. Well, I was just perverted pink puff. <laughs> yeah. I see you've returned. I see. Sent you on a clue hunt, did he? Yeah, leading to nowhere. We didn't even learn anything. Well, except for people repeat their errors and delusions make history. Ugh, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. It was clearly just some sort of stupid prank. Unless, of course, you can make some kind of sense out of it all, Akemi. It could be rather profound, honestly. I'm not looking for profound. I'm looking for answers. What are these delusions even supposed to be? That I couldn't say. There's still too much we don't know about them. Though, fortunately for us, there exists a device designed specifically to study these mysterious delusions. Wait, are you kidding? That's awfully... specific. I'm not sure how it works, I just know it does. Collects a wide variety of useful data, too. It's even ready to take test subjects, from what I hear. Did... did you say test subjects? Oh, that's not unsettling at all. Well, who knows? Maybe this dream machine is just an urban legend. You know, like canon still might be. But if we're captured, won't we be? Oh, 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 Ryu. There's no need to fret. Rumors say they're testing, sure, but on humans? <gasps> Not for another ten years. Then why'd you have to go and freak us all out in the first place? Oh, bless your heart. Were you scared? No. And shut up. Human testing or not, they might make an exception for us, given that we're sort of... unique. Because you remember things, you mean? Exactly. Why can we do that anyway? When a delusion is nullified, it's true that the memories of that delusion will go with it, yes. However, the speed at which those memories fade varies from person to person. I've seen many hang on in the past. Yamato, Ryu, Kotomi. Are any of you hiding anything? Huh? No, I think I've shared pretty much everything with all of you. Same here. I have nothing to hide either. <laughs> that's good then, if true. But that's enough prying for one day. 
and do try to take heart. Even if you couldn't find Cannon, remember, there's more to this world than bad news. In fact, I can prove it right now. Oh? Don't tell me. I've just received a report from someone who's seen... You know who. Yeah? Yes, the one you most desire to see. Yeah? Wh when was this? While you were busy ogling the maids, I suspect. I... I didn't even notice. My source couldn't tell me for certain that it was her, though. Simply that the girl they saw fit the description. So it could have been a lookalike. Yes, but even if it were, I imagine you'd like to see her yourself, no? Hmm. I do believe she's still in Akiba, so my search for her continues. At least for the time being. If I make any progress, you'll be the first to hear about it. But for now, please go back to your homes and rest. Will do. Thanks, as always. Believe in Saki. Hmm? Aoi? Good evening. What are you doing out here so late? Late night roaming. All by yourself? Mm-hmm. Though I was with the others a little earlier. We just threw a welcome party. For who? Hey, Asahi. Yeah? What is it? Is it wrong to destroy people's delusions? Huh? If we don't do it, people are going to get hurt. And we won't be able to protect them. We know that. Yeah, but... I have to go. Goodbye. Uh... You're late. Not by my watch. Made it just in time. I'm safe. Do you even consider the people you're holding up? Meeting up two hours ago would have been the sensible thing to do. Oh, so now you're a little Miss Sensible. Come on, everyone. Let's not fight. Hmm? Oh, it's Akemi. Hello? Mr. Asahi, I've just received some brand new information. Oh, what is it? There's a new delusion spreading through Akiba. A new delusion? Where? The flagship FOSS map on Main Street. I figured you'd want to know. You got that right. Thanks. It's up to you whether to nullify or preserve it. Choose wisely. So, where'd she say it was? FOSS map on Main Street. Off we get!
you. Who? Me? No, not you. Sha! I've got beef with the girl standing next to you. You mean... Me? Yeah, you. Ko? Do you know her? No. And even if I did, I'd try to forget her immediately. Don't you dare forget me! Thanks to you, everything is completely ruined! You seem like you're a pain to deal with, but don't worry, I've already forgotten all about you. You can go now. How dare you! Ko, do you really not know anything about this? Nope, not a clue. That's BS and you know it. It was you. It was definitely you. Okay, it is time for you to shut up. In fact, I forbid you from speaking another word to me. If you understand these terms, tell me now. Uh, is she serious? There you are. You are the worst. So this is where you've been hiding. I won't let you get away with this crap again. Yeah, you are causing trouble for everyone, and it has to stop. Oh, uh, what do you people want? We're just saying, if you try to pull a stunt like this again, you'll be sorry. Got it? Good. Now you see here, you little... Whoa, calm down. Let's not do that. Why are you stopping me? Are you really, truly sure you have no idea who they are or what they're talking about? Not the slightest clue, and the very sight of such arrogant women disgusts me. Then why run after them? They're clearly just mistaking you for someone else. It happens. I understand that, but their accusations are discomforting. Okay, you want to go find out then? Find out what? What caused them to confuse you with someone else? You won't feel at ease until you know, right? Huh. I'll do what you want. In other words, yes. So let's do it. Let's find those girls and get to the bottom of this. You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. Headed into the delusionscape? Settle the score. S settle the... What? You're still not done? <gasps> Going to torment me some more, are you? Sorry, sorry. That was just a figure of speech. Katomi here isn't exactly the most socially savvy person. Can I ask, though, what you mean when you say torment some more? How were you tormented previously? Uh, I mean, where do I even start? I can't believe you two would fall for this... This stuck-up goth. Now, just hold on a second. So, uh, who's Yuta? That's a common name. There are lots of Yutas out there, but I've never heard of one. Wait, what? Which is it? N never mind. Let's just go and find someone else. You gonna buy something? Are we short on supplies? They call me Pink. Pink Shark. Cause I'm a card shark, baby. Where you ran off to, is it? What? Did you follow me? What do you want? I've come to end this. Huh? End this? Ko, that doesn't come across the way I think you want it to. 
We're actually here because we wanted to get to the bottom of what's going on. Would you mind talking it over with us? I've got nothing to say. Well, I do. You are to get down on your knees and beg for my forgiveness. Huh? Don't screw with me! What makes this even worse is that you really are ridiculously pretty. You know it's your fault that Takumi left me, don't you? Huh? Uh, Ko... I don't know anyone named Takumi. Don't know anyone named... Ugh. Do you know how insulting that is? You think you can just waltz off with my man? You are truly, seriously the worst. You're the worst, not me. I don't want to see your face or those nasty eyes of yours ever again. Get out of my sight. I cannot believe she ran away. I can, and you should let her. <laughs> I didn't want to see her again anyway. I should find her and rip her to shreds. How about we find someone else you can try again to be, you know, civil? Come on. start Wh what the please ignore her or uh tell me about her i guess i just want to know why you're so mad at katomi here what she hasn't told you herself hasn't told me what Ugh, she won't even own up to it that's just how it happened with kinta she had him snookered too had him snookered you better watch out dude that girl is a demon in doll's clothing oh you're preaching to the choir not that it matters i'll never be able to beat her anyway it should be illegal to be that cute. I am so confused by all of this. So, I'm a demon in doll's clothing, am I? How about I tear you into neat little pieces? Then we'll see who's a demon! Ha 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 ha! Who's a demon indeed? Very clever. So, on another topic entirely, who's Kinta? Not a clue. It's somebody you snookered, apparently. Not ringing any bells? Or defining any words? Look, I said I have no idea, and I meant it. And I don't care either. No reason to care. Not my problem. Hmm. Maybe you have a doppelganger running around Akiba or something. In any case, let's go see if we can find that last girl. As they say, uh, fourth time's the charm? it if you didn't speak my name quite so freely. You seem to really want me to rip you to shreds. Hold up a sec, miss. Did you just call her Katomi? Y you are Katomi Sonata, right? You are mistaken. 
No, she's not. That's who you are. And apparently the girls who accosted you didn't have the wrong person after all. Wrong person? Hey, do you mind if I ask you a question? What did Katomi do to you exactly? Well, she didn't do anything. That is what I've been saying all along. Uh, I mean, you didn't even know what was happening, but still. But still what? My boyfriend totally lost interest in me, and it's all Katomi's fault. W what now? He just up and dumped me, totally out of nowhere. So I tried pressing him for a reason, and he said he found a new girl he was crazy about. The young daughter of the Sonatas! Seriously? Seriously. And I'm not alone. There are like a zillion other guys around here that she lured in with her siren song. So that means... I mean, where do I even start? I can't believe you two would fall for this... this stuck-up goth. You know it's your fault that Takumi left me, don't you? Huh? Ugh, she won't even own up to it? That's just how it happened with Kinta. She had him snookered, too. It's the same story with all of them. Their boyfriends are going bananas over Katomi. Man, if they only knew what tree they were all barking up, you know? Huh? I mean, like, all those guys who fell for her. They should really, uh... <laughs> Whatever should they do, Asahi? N nothing. Nothing at all. What should I make tonight? What's shaking, Yamato? You look really focused on something or other. Figuring out what I'm gonna do for dinner. I mean, we are right near a supermarket and all. Hold the phone. You can actually cook? You'd be surprised at how many daily living skills non-meats have to learn. I mean, I figured you reheated things, but damn. Yamato Hongo, master chef. Who'da thunk it? Don't you live with your parents, though? Why are you doing dinner prep yourself? Don't worry about it. Yamato? <laughs> well, how about this then? I'll help you plan tonight's dinner. Will you now? I think I had you pegged all wrong. I figured you were just an average dude with a nasty case of puberternity. But no, you're more than that. Especially now that you've got your new big brother Asahi helping you out. I already hate this. That's the spirit. Let's start planning out tonight's menu, shall we? Can you even cook? Not at all. Come the hell on! But I'm aces when it comes to finding food in Akiba, so I'll show you every restaurant worth eating at. I'm sure they'll give us all sorts of great dinner ideas. Come on, it'll be fun! You're an idiot. And you can't have dinner without meat. So off we go to Heisei Diner. It's near the station's electric town exit.
Here's our first stop on our Akihabara food tour. Heisei Diner. It's both cheap and delicious. Okay, I'll bite. What do you recommend? Oh, the stamina fried pork, no question. The garlic on it is crazy good. Ugh, please, not garlic. The duo can't get enough garlic in their lives as it is. The duo? My parents. What? Who calls their parents the duo? I do. But Tachibana, please tell me this place has something that's not meat on their menu. Not meat? Why would anyone want that? They're tired of meat. Plus, I want to make them something a little healthier. You know, part of a balanced diet. Hmm, that's a stumper. Akiba and nutrition don't exactly go hand in hand. You're telling me. But if we want something other than meat, we're probably gonna have to do vegetables. Are you down for vegetables? Well, you know a place? I know every place. This little spot on Junk Street would be perfect. Trust me. Chibana, what the hell is this? Veggie ramen. Look, just because veggies in the name doesn't make it healthy. Ramen's like a giant bowl of salt. Plus, it's really hard to recreate the flavor of a good ramen place at home. Then we shall arrange for cup ramen. I can't serve cup ramen to someone who's been watching the house for me. Who have you got watching the house? Uh, my older brother. Your older brother and parents are all hanging out at home while you're out here busting your ass to find dinner? Some families do that. They have the second son cook. Look, just hurry up and show me someplace else. Well, I suppose we do need to get you and your weird family fed. Next stop, the Station Plaza. <laughs> 